need to know. And the FDA is going out of its way to make sure that they don't know it. Well, you just don't care about children, uh, Mike, being able to have that nice teddy bear. I know. I mean, if it were up to me, Alex, I would go in. I would, I would ban sugar infant formula for babies. I would. I would. I would force this off the shelves. I mean, you know, if they gave me the. Of course, if, if the eugenicist to break up the family hadn't told women how cool it was to not breastfeed their babies, women have got the equipment. And guess what? It's designed just for the baby, and it gives them all that colostrum. The vaccines of every woman before that woman in history delivered to that child. Heaven forbid we drink cow milk uh, that hasn't been boiled or pasteurized that passes on some things. <laughs> exactly. Oh, and we haven't talked about this vaccine season. They're already pushing hard for everybody to go out and get vaccinated now. They want you to get vaccinated early. But the teddy bear will be vaccinated. Uh, he will. They're pro probably he will be vaccinated as long uh, along with all the kids drinking this formula. Have you seen the kids shows where they on PBS? What's that clip we played last year where the teacher goes? <laughs> uh, if you search the term uh, TV pushes vaccines on kids, cartoon pushes vaccines on kids. And it's literally like demonic. It's like you take the shot. You'll feel much better. <laughs> Sorry. I've seen some cartoons uh, pushing vaccines. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's kind of like remember the, they used to complain about the tobacco companies using uh, Joe Camel to sell cigarettes. Well, they're using the same thing to sell vaccines for kids. But it was a conspiracy 40 years ago to say cigarettes gave you cancer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cigarettes are good for you. And so is a diet for a baby of 52% corn syrup. Come on. Well, I know, Alex, I didn't mean to be so unreasonable here today to suggest that babies shouldn't drink corn sugar. And <laughs> Well, no, they got me using the term corn sugar. It's corn syrup solids, folks. Corn syrup solids and fructose and sucrose. This is not stuff that babies should be drinking. They should be drinking mother's milk, and they should get sunshine. That's a conspiracy. Literally, in the 20 years from now, if we don't stop this, it'll be a conspiracy theory that women ever breastfed. It probably. Uh, yeah. It'll be a conspiracy theory that people could talk. Well, you know, doctors today are telling women that if there's cancer in their family, they have to have a double mastectomy to prevent cancer. They are cutting off their breasts to prevent cancer in women who don't even have it. This is Instead of telling them to eat healthy food. Instead of telling them, yeah, to breastfeed your babies, let's just lose these, take them off so that you don't get cancer. And in the meantime, we'll probably irradiate you with mammograms just, just in case. But you know, I mean, to get you know, focused on something serious, because I've been screwing around a bit, <laughs> um, if you look at all the studies... Sodium fluoride, they 100% attacks all the organs, the bones, massively increases cancer, and is directly linked to breast cancer, but so is melamine, so is bisphenol A, all of this. So women wonder why they're having so many problems, I mean, because they're killing you. Yeah, and a lot of women really don't know where it's coming from, and they're not getting information from good sources. That's why I, I really appreciate what you're doing here, Alex, and thanks for having me on today, too, because... Women especially need to know you can prevent breast cancer. Vitamin D alone, according to the research that I've seen, that I've quoted, it's, it, you know, science journals. But Cass Sunstein says that it's a conspiracy theory to say the sun is good for oh, you. No. And he says you should be basically arrested. We're not making this up. And, and you go, why are you talking about the sun? You don't get the real vitamin D, do you, without getting that sun? They want you to live in caves like Osama bin Laden. That's basically... But I'm sorry, go over your research on the... Well, um, uh, basically, four out of five cancers can be prevented just from vitamin D alone. And if you take some magnesium, you'll have better absorption of vitamin D. Vitamin D, there, there are receptors for this vitamin on every major organ. You mean we are designed to get sun? Unbelievable. I know. I wonder why white people have white skin, because we came from an area more north. We need to absorb more of it. That's it. <gasps> if people would just look around. And, you know, you, you shouldn't be afraid of the sun. It's there for a purpose. Yeah, and, 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 and yes, folks, you will get old, and sometimes you'll get skin cancer, but the studies show you'll get more internal cancers, the ones that really kill you, if you don't get the sun. But also a lot of skin cancers, I've read the major studies, are because if you don't have the right nutrients in exactly. you, then you get sun, bye-bye. If you have good nutrition, your chances of skin cancer drop 
to near zero, especially if you're doing superfoods. Well, I'm sold. I, I you know, I, I, I'm an extremist, and either I'm extremely unhealthy or extremely healthy. I am going to take the path of the health ranger. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that, Alex. And you sure you don't want this Similac? Because I could leave it. it here it's me. like they say in Caddyshack. It's like it's like I've been with the Dalai Lama, and, and he's told me I will be given total, total consciousness at my death. Unga galunga. <laughs> By the way, I talked to Jesse Ventura. He really asked the Dalai Lama, have you seen Caddyshack? We'll be right back with your phone call. Stay with us. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with key information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh, made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years, hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call 1-800-686-2237 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Less is more. I want you to think of Life Change T as, well... A 2008 Ferrari 612. The Ferrari 612 is a two-door, four-passenger luxury car that gives an exploding 540 horsepower through its 6-liter V12. It has a top speed of 199 miles per hour and can accelerate 0 to 60 in about 4 seconds. Life Change T will accelerate your life into feeling more energy, losing weight, and cleansing toxins out of your body so you'll live longer. And guess what? You can accelerate your life without a Ferrari 612 sticker price of $318,000. You can buy green tea for less, but unfortunately, it's just another daily driver with no performance. So for just about a dollar a day, you can drive the Ferrari of teas. Don't be fooled by size. Check our website out at getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Or you can call us at 928-308-0408. Again, that's 928-308-0408. Remember Life Change Tea. Okay, folks, we are back live. Uh, this was run during the flu season last year on PBS Kids, uh, where they're dancing around. The little boy's scared, but they're going to give him a shot. Here it is. It's fun. If I don't get the virus, I won't give it to you. If you don't give it to me, I won't give it to her. If I don't get it from her, I won't give it to them. That's true. If I don't get the virus, I won't give it to you. 
give it to you! You didn't play it from the start where she goes, find the, and notice it's all so the little kid, he gets to be cool with the older kids because he gets the shot. It turns out it reduced his immunity, makes him doubly uh, susceptible to the regular seasonal flu. Uh, mainstream news admits that. And it was all a fraud and it increases his seizure rate by 10 times and gives him all sorts of brain damage. All admitted, all, we were right about that again. But it's so much fun. Did we find the a part where she laughs like a goblin? Okay, well, while we're looking for that to find that uh, key area there where the children are being learned to be injected, remember, I, I, CNN, U.S. apologizes for infecting Guatemalans with STDs, gave thousands of them in one uh, operation, 1,600 people. They injected them with syphilis, telling them they were giving them a vaccine. <laughs> yeah. It might hurt a little, but it's going to help a whole lot. <laughs> You know, they should, that cartoon should say, um, these kids are the medical experiment for today. Because that's what they're doing. That's a, that's a medical experiment. Uh, but hey, but she's happy. I mean, you know, this, she sounds like Dr. Frankenstein. Here it is. Kids, we're ready to roll. Stopping that virus, that's our goal. So come on, everybody. We're getting the shot. It might hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. But it's going to help a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> this vaccination. That's a little enjoyment. That's a little inside joke. It's going to help a whole lot. <laughs> oh, yes. It is an inside joke. Oh, if they really wanted to help those kids, Alex, they'd be handing out vitamin D supplements or fish oil supplements or just letting them go outside and, and play. They'd have them in the creek uh, catching tadpoles. <laughs> they, they do something other than... You know, they don't allow nationwide dodgeball or, or chase or any type of exertion, no. It's, uh, there was a study recently, Alex, that said 95% of Americans... Never do anything that requires exertion. Only five percent. So the the most exercise some people get is walking across the parking lot to go buy their pharmaceuticals, or or maybe they just go through the drive through to get them. Now you know, we've got drive through pharmacies. I think I'm going to swim uh, two thousand yards today. I'll, I'll join you. Really, you want to go? Yeah, let's go. We go to the lake, swim across it. I'm I'm good. I'm going to do that Saturday. <laughs> okay. How long are you here in town? Uh, well, I don't want to say that on the air, Alex, but I'll, I'll go with you. That's right. You got the spooks after you. Huh? <laughs> well, you know, when, when us truth tellers have to be careful about who knows where we are. Yeah. I mean, I, I had people. Uh, the bad guys got to be careful if they find me. <laughs> I'm sure that's the case. Yes. But it, it's it's true. It's, you know, they it's. They don't want us to be able to educate people about these things because when, when people wake up and, and start thinking, and there are a lot of great, you know, well-informed people out there who are, who are on top of the situation. And when, when we connect with those people and empower them with additional information and sometimes they'll send us tips, right? You get tips from people I do too. Then that creates a, a feedback loop of knowledge and knowledge is dangerous to the system that's trying to run. Well, you're also very credible. Yeah, you're very credible. I, I, I want to quit hogging you. Let's go to some phone calls, cause we'll, and we're going to have him most of the next segment, folks, as well. It's so good to have, meet you in person. It, it's really great to be here and to see you, Alex. I've been interviewing you for, what, six, seven years? Some, it, it's been a number of years. We've always done it over the phone, and that, that's fine, but here in person we can actually have more fun. You know what? I'll bring more baby food next time. <laughs> with Actually, I'm, I'm kind of hungry right now. Is there a beetle in that? Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Annie in Indiana. Annie, you're on the air. Uh, good afternoon. It's a great show today, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And I have a question for you, Mike. I believe I've already seen you on YouTube as the Health Ranger. Yeah, that, Are you on? probably so. Yeah, he's not wearing his, his, his little black uh, you know, disguise like the Lone Ranger today. And Tonto's not here with him. But, yeah, no, he, he's out of disguise. <laughs> Oh, gosh. And I have a question. I have a big red dog, 90 pounds. She looks like um, a red lab. I call her Red Dog. Uh -huh. I've heard the big Clefat, the big red dog. 
Um, like most red-haired humans, she has skin allergies, and she's allergic to flea bites. She's constantly biting and chewing on herself. And I'm starting to realize it's possibly the GMO dry dog food I've been feeding her. Well, well, uh, stay there. I'm gonna because I haven't done a lot of research on mainline dog food. Uh, it's well, I'll tell you about it on the other side, and we'll get uh, the health range.